what's up youtube this is rebecca the diva coming at y'all with another video but before i get into this reaction video if you're new welcome to my channel my name is rebecca hey all i like for you to do is go right on the head and click that sus subscribe button and when you do that hit the notification bell and select all so every time i upload hopefully youtube is not bugging and tripping and tripping and bugging you'll get notified when i do upload a video hit the share button because sharing is caring there are no secrets over here on this channel uh, -uh we don't do that Please do me a big, gigantic favor, guys, and hit that like button because it helps me out a lot. And leave a comment down in the comment section, good or bad. But don't be negative because I will return that favor and I will hurt the hell out of your feelings. Yes, I will. Just being honest. And for everybody who's coming back, what's up, Diva Gang? Yes, this is a reaction video. Yes, y'all already know by the title what it's about. Like, get into it right quick. And just a disclaimer. If you are my Jazzy Life fan, if you was a Chris Hips fan, please, and if you're going to get in your feelings, click off because I ain't got time. So I'm giving you a moment to exit the building. All right, we shall carry on, Diva Gang. All right, so I was busy earlier when this shenanigans of, um... <laughs> live stream came on first with Jasmine looking like who did it is gonna and why with her Rudolph the red nose reindeer ass talking about she got allergies and shit um whatever <laughs> that's all I gotta say um and by the way y'all are at a weirder angle you're gonna see this yellow light up there from the ceiling fan I am making lip gloss because somebody um ordered placed an order for one of my specialty lip glosses and unfortunately I didn't have any more already um, made up in the tube so that means I have to make it <laughs> so I can get it chipped off by Monday um, so yeah I was I, I, I was watching the live and I had to rewatch it a little bit but basically um, I don't see the purpose of him getting on live, you know, huffing and puffing the way he was because he didn't really clarify anything. Um, if you was getting on there for Blama's um, <laughs> benefit, I mean, let's be realistic. Those of us who are familiar with Blama Eats, Queen Blama, she's not going to stop. She's not going to leave Jasmine alone. She's been fucking with Jasmine for the longest of times. Jasmine needs to sit her ass in the fucking corner and eat that shit the fuck up. Period. It's like, come on now. You know, it's weird. It's crazy. And I got gloves on, guys. So if you hear crinkling and stuff, it's because of these annoying little gloves I have on. Mixing up my gloss. Um, he said a lot of contradicting things in his life. He said a lot of ignorant shit in his life. Like, basically, you can't file for child support if the person is not in the same state. Well, damn, somebody needs to tell the child support bureaus of the whole world, the whole United States about this. Because I got two baby fathers. One live in New York, one live in California. Yes, I'm by coastal. And I filed for child support. For the one in New York, but he's like Chris. He doesn't get a job, keep a job. He needs the above job, and now the kids are grown, so it really doesn't matter. And the one in California, my kids are 16 and 12, and guess what? I get child support, and I live in the state of Florida. So he needs to check his facts before he goes on rambling about some BS. He would know about child support clearly if he was paying it. Um, he said that girl in California is not his baby mama. Then he called the bitch his baby mama and was like, come on. And his reason for getting on camera was because somebody found his aunt, who's an older lady, whatever have you. And she's a godly woman. Like, boy, bye. Um, number one, if they found her through social media, anybody can go on social media platform, whether it be Instagram, Facebook, um, or Snapchat or whatever and get a picture of somebody and post it somewhere. It's easy to do. It's not like rock and fans. We understand that you would slow ass Jasmine who don't know how to do shit right. But, um, baby boy, 
you know, why come out now? My thing is, and this is my whole fucking point, and please don't blink, don't miss it. When the bitch first, kid, the so-called baby mama, the daughter's mother, first came the fuck out, talking to all these reactors, Chris should have spoke up then and put the shit to bed. But he was a bitch and he didn't do it. Period. Jasmine's a bigger bitch since she likes to go around calling the reactors bitches. By you giving all of this shit smoke, Jasmine, it's only going to make people fuck with you more. You don't seem to get that part. Why don't you be like your little best friend who's now ignoring you, Chrissy, and be with your boyfriend and do what you do and leave social media alone, my nigga. Put on content, bring forth content that's for your family channel. Chris is not for your family channel. Chris is a big bag of win who is using you for clout. Period. Point blank. I rest my case. Jasmine is so desperate for a man that she's just willing to sell, basically sell her soul to the devil. Chris being the devil and do whatever he say do. You know, then they going off on tangents about him putting groceries in the house. Her daughter's birthday was on the, the, the what, the 6th? She was supposed to get her food stamps on the 5th. The groceries should have been put in the house the day before the birthday or on the birthday when she went and tried to swipe her card and realized she didn't have no food stamps. Then you should have been right there by her side. Yo, baby, don't worry about it. I got you. I mean, when my late boyfriend was alive and we were going to the store, I don't have food stamps. When I reached in my purse to pull out my card to pay for my food, he was like, oh, no, 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 I got this. That's what a real man do. So coming to her defense after the fact, talking about you put groceries in the house, after the fact she was already on, on videos looking sad, sorry, pathetic, and basically begging. Like, boy, bye, check your bitch. Okay? Y'all trying to pretend like y'all this little perfect, happy little couple when y'all two fucking dysfunctional fools. Get into it right quick. You would never see any of the bigger channels going through any of this remedial bullshit. But y'all thriving to be a bigger channel. It's never going to happen because of BS like this. There's no even need for Chris to adjust, uh, address anything. If you know that you're a good father to the three children that you have, if you know that you pay your child support and you're taking care of your children mentally, physically, financially, what was the purpose of even getting on here? And as far as relatives who may get their feelings hurt along the way, tell them, look, you know, I'm trying to do this social media thing and hey, I'll try to put a, put a, put a control over what content that I put out, but I don't have control over anybody else's content that they put out. Sorry. Because I could give a fuck who <laughs> gets hurt by my content. If I put my sister in it, my mother in it, my brother in it, my, my, my best friend in it, I don't give a fuck. Because at the end of the day, when the checks start rolling in, everybody's going to have their hands out. Oh, can you help me? Can I have? Can you buy me? I need a new house. I need a new car. So don't come to people's defense. Like I said, the defense should have been came to when this female started contacting um, all the reactors and stuff, sending emails and stuff. You should have gotten on live then and checked her and everybody else, including Jasmine. But boy, boy, that's all I got to say about this. I'm trying to get back to my order. I just had to put my two cent worth in because like I said, I'm sitting up here and I was trying to make sense of what the hell that he was talking about. And it just wasn't adding up. It was too many inconsistencies with the story he's telling. He's deleting all kind of comments, getting all in his feelings. Jasmine in the background being the internet thug that she trying to be. It was a mess. It was a mess, y'all. But let me continue to make my money. And I will see you next time. Bye.